Nagpaabot ng kanilang simpatya ang mga opisyal ng Japan dahil sa bagyong sinapit ng ating bansa. Ayon sa kanila, tutulong sila sa gobyerno ng Pilipinas sa proyekto ng transportasyon at iba pang pangangailangan ng bansa ayon nga sa isang opisyal na si Dr. Mori Mas- Masadoni, isang special advisor to the Prime Minister. Nagpaabot siya ng uh, minsay na kanilang palalakasin ang kooperasyon sa bansa para sa pagharap sa epekto ng climate change, o maritime security, agriculture and food security, pati na ang infrastructure development. Narito sila sa Pilipinas para sumaksi sa paglagda sa isang kasunduan tungkol sa subway project. Ayon sa isang opisyal ng Japan na si Nakasawa, tuloy-tuloy ang kanilang pagtulong na kung saan tumulong din sila dati sa mga proyekto ng gobyerno lalo na sa patubig at mga paaralan. Pakinggan po natin at sundan ang uh, pagbabahagi ni uh, Senior Vice President Kichiro Nakasawa. I'm deeply saddened to hear of the loss of life and devastation caused by the typhoon that hit the Philippines last week. On behalf of JICA, I'd like to extend our heartfelt condolences, condolences to the victims and their families at this difficult time. JICA stands with Filipino people in overcoming this time of difficulty and is committed to assisting the recovery as quickly as possible. Over the past few years, we have already witnessed a number of milestone achievements in other contract packages, including the groundbreaking for the Ortingas and Show Bluebird station segment last month. We are confident that under the very strong leadership of Secretary Bautista, all the contractors for the MMSP will move full speed ahead, consistent with the Honorable President's directive to the DOTL. As your most trusted and reliable partner in this endeavor, please rest assured JICA will continue to render full support with Japanese companies' experience and expertise and know-how for the realization of this first ever subway in the Philippines. The Metro Manila subway project, dubbed as the project of the century, is the first underground railway in the Philippines. It is the fulfillment of a 50-year dream that started with the 1973 urban transport study in the Manila metropolitan area, with its construction finally commenced on 2019. Financing has been secured from the government of Japan through the Japan International Cooperation Agency or JICA, with the first two tranches of official development assistance loans amounting to a total of 358 billion Japanese yen having been signed on March 2018 and February 2022. Spanning 33 kilometers and 17 stations, the Metro Manila subway project will cut down travel time between Quezon City and Naia from 1 hour 38 minutes to only 45 minutes. With a fleet of 38 car train set, it is expected to serve 519,000 passengers daily. The first subway will have its operational speed of 80 kilometers per hour and a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Full speed ahead, the construction of the Metro Manila subway's first four stations, East Valenzuela, Quirino Highway, Tandang Sora, and North Avenue stations, as well as the 30-hectare depot at Valenzuela, continues with the two out of 19 tunnel boring machines already lowered, currently being assembled, and will be ready for launching by the end of this year. Also, contract packages for the electromechanical systems and rolling stocks has also been signed with the mock-up train already here in the Philippines and the first train set is currently being manufactured in Japan. Last October 3, 2022, one of the contract packages for civil works already commenced with its groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of Ortigas and Shaw Boulevard stations. Now, following the awards of the two contract packages for civil works last September 2022, Nishimatsu DMCI Joint Venture and SMCC will finally engage with the signing of the contract for the construction of Quezon Avenue, East Avenue, Anonas, and Camp Aguinaldo stations. These four stations will connect the North Avenue station of CP101 and Ortiga station of CP104. This is the Metro Manila subway project. This is the future of the railway sector. And we shall continue, expand, and confidently build various infrastructure projects to provide a safe, comfortable, reliable, accessible, affordable, and efficient transportation system to the Filipino people. Uh, even in... Uh... 
in our agricultural projects uh, that we would have come this far without the help of JICA along the way. And it has been instrumental, it has been material, and uh, we have many uh, possi possible future projects that may be in the pipeline. And for that, uh, once again, we thank JICA for their assistance and their continuing interest in the Philippines. We are honored to have you as our partners in making the Philippines, trans and the Philippines transport operations more efficient, safer, and more reliable. And the Department of Transportation has made the possible the signing of these contract packages. So I urge the DOTR, under the very capable hands of uh, Secretary Jimmy, to remain steadfast in ensuring the smooth and faithful implementation of this extremely crucial undertaking. The signing of these contract packages is a clear demonstration of this administration's commitment to pursuing big projects, big infrastructure projects that will foster growth and revitalize the economy. Apart from this, we are also pursuing other key railway projects such as the MRT-7, the LRT-1, Cavite Extension, the uh, Philippine National Railway Clark Phases 1 and 2 that will in the future make rail transit our rail transit system a more viable option for our commuters. We owe it to the Filipino people to build major roads and critical infrastructure that will not only spur progress and social change, but also promote interconnectivity, ease traffic, and reduce travel time. With you as our partners, I am confident that we can move full speed ahead towards building better and more infrastructure projects for the Filipino people. Let's work together. And let us uh, achieve our shared goal of an efficient public transportation system that shall enhance our mobility, improve interconnectivity, and spur development equitably in our country. Let me assure you that the government remains dedicated to maximizing its resources to pursue even more ambitious endeavors that will bring comfort and progress to Filipinos all over the country. Ang lahat ng ito, ay para sa ating mga mamamayan. Sama-sama natin isulong ang mga ganitong klasing proyekto para sa lahat ng Pilipino. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na ito, please like and share. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you and God bless.